then first we have to mark C anywhere on this line. I will mark this as C. Then first we have to take this distance. I am here. I am getting here as 22 mm. So same C D1 distance we have to take. C C D1 distance will be 22 mm. So this will be D1. I will draw a locus line. You can see locus line is a parallel line to XY line. You can draw a parallel line to XY line. Then I have to take this distance or you can take the divider. You can take DC distance. Here you can take this distance. C will be the same point. You can you can cut on this line. Okay. Then we can extend here. This will get this as beta angle. So this will be beta angle. We are getting we'll get this as 65 degree and this is inclined at 40 degree to BP. We can measure this. We'll get as 65 degree. Then we have to transfer all the distance. You can see CD is perpendicular to AB. You can draw a perpendicular line here. We can draw a perpendicular line to this thin line then we can take this distance from the divider you can take this distance here in the divider you can cut here and you can cut on this line then we can write here a then this will be B. We can draw a line here with thick ABC will be a triangle. Here we are placing the same triangle in the what we can see in the second top here. Same we are tilting like this. From this we can draw a vertical projection lines. From C we will draw vertical projection lines. From C dash, we'll draw a horizontal projection lines line. So this will be C dash. Then from here, we can draw a vertical projection line. That will be A dash. Then from this also we can draw a vertical projection line that will be B dash we can connect with A dash to B dash and B dash to C dash and C dash to A dash and we can make this as thick line. What we are done in this problem, we took this as 25 mm with one of its edges. We can show the dimension like here on the left hand side with 25 mm. Then we have drew this the front view line. Then it is inclined at 45 degree to HP they are given. Then we have to draw the second top view. Then same thing you have to tilt with this beta angle we are getting beta angle as 65 degree in this case first we have to take 40 degree to HP align then we have to take CD1 distance and you can cut on that this will be a locus of D then we can take CD distance and you can cut on that line then we have to place 
this triangle with respect to this second apparent angle then from that we can draw vertical projection lines then from this we can draw horizontal projection lines then we will get the final front view